You know, while I was praising God and thanking God for his goodness, his mercy, his grace, and who he is to me, uh, I know for a fact that he was watching over my family that day. See, about three, well, I, I left out the house maybe about uh, 2.45. I was going to a function at the church, and uh, the program started at 3 o'clock, so uh, I made it there at 3 o'clock, and about 3.30, I got a phone call. My wife, you know, she was, she was like out of it because of what had happened. And she was sitting right there, uh, you know, in, in a corner. Uh, she heard this loud noise and she, she thought somebody was shooting and what have you, but it was, the car was coming through the house. And uh, uh, she was hit by some debris. Uh, and uh, it just so happened, you know, she wasn't hurt real bad, but she, you know, she's still shaking, but um, she's gonna be all right. And your daughter was home too? Yes, yeah, she was in the bedroom. Just so happened she was in the bedroom. And you know, normally, uh, oh, like on Sundays, we have, you know, the kids over, you know, company over. And, you know, the way that the house is, is, is constructed, uh, you know, the, the open space for the living area, the kitchen, and uh, you know all that stuff was right there together. And when it came through the, the bedroom window where I was, would normally be, it just came straight through the bedroom window and it exited through the kitchen. And had we had company over, I think, uh, you know, that would have been a disaster for my family. You mentioned that you were headed to church, so I take it you're a religious man to some extent. I wonder in that lens what you make of the fact that there could have been more people home. There could have been uh, much more serious injuries or God forbid even fatalities in your family and the chips aligned so that didn't happen. I, I just wonder as, as a man of faith what you make of that. Well, uh, my thing is, is that, you know, while I was praising God and thanking God, for his goodness, his mercy, his grace, and who he is to me. Uh, I know for a fact that he was watching over my family that day. And, and uh, you know, I, I, don't, I can't explain it, but I know that, that, that God had his hand on this house that day as to my family. He watched over my family. And uh, I'll be so ever grateful to God for, you know, keeping my family. When I left, my wife had just finished doing her hair. And after she, you know, got through, she, you know, put it back in her room. So her room is on the back side of the house. And so, and I, you know, my wife, you know, uh, she, uh, uh, she was telling me today, you know, that, you know, uh, everything that was done yesterday God had a hand in it, you know, because had she not put her in her room after she did her hair, had she not sat right here in this corner, because if you, if you go inside, you'll see that this, this uh, little nook right here, it's kind of, it sits off. So it was away from the, the exit. Because you see right here, this part right here, It's where the car exit, but she was sitting right here. So she was sitting in a, in a, in a corner when all, the, all this here was taking place. And it was, it was, you know, it's only by the grace of God that, that, that you know, she didn't get hit you know, by, the, by the car going through. Sir, is, is there any way folks can help you and your family? Oh. A lot of prayer. I, uh, you know, you know. Right now, we just need a lot of prayer. You know, and and God gonna do the rest. So, as far as what happens next for your home, I I know this just happened 24 hours ago. Have you talked to insurance yet? Do you know what this is gonna look like for you guys? Are, are they gonna be able to repair it, or or is it? Well, uh, I, I reached out to them. You know, it happened on a Sunday, 
and uh, uh, I reached out to him and uh, uh, I know sometimes you know on Sunday you you know you can't really kind of like uh, get with the people you need to get with but hopefully by tomorrow uh, you know I, I've talked to the agents uh, I've made phone calls and uh, I'm just gonna wait and see uh, how long it takes them to uh, do what they need to do. Are you concerned at all about the, the financial side of this? Somewhat, yes. But I, I know it's going to be all right. I, I, I value life more than, you know, things. You know, that, that can be replaced. But, uh, you know, I, I know too that uh, it's going to be hard trying to stay there, knowing that 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 two lives was lost and uh and and it's, it'll be always be somewhere back in here that that happened did your did your wife and or your daughter um that was a tough question to ask did did they see the the bodies no but i did you know and and uh it's just, it's just sad that two lives was lost. How, how do you, to see something so awful and also so intimate, to see a body in front of you, what was that moment like? Uh, you know, you can't get life, you know, you, you, can't, you can't just come back. It, they're gone, you know, and the way that they left didn't make no sense. What did you do in that moment when, when you did see the bodies? I paused. Uh, I prayed. I thought about, you know, that could have been my wife and my daughter, my grandbaby, my sons, you know, me. Because I would, I, I would have been right there where it came through the windows. So, you know, I, I thought about all of that. Were both passengers dead when you arrived, or, or just the one? Uh, the, the one that was still... Still here? Yeah, they, they had taken one away. Since I've been here, I've, I've witnessed at least about five rollovers, and I've helped pull people out of the vehicles. So, and, and also, like these lights, I, I've seen where they've had to replace replace lights maybe twice a month, you know, and, and, and you know, seeing that, I said, well, I better do something. So I, you know, I purchased some barriers, you know, and then, and then I, I started putting the tractor. I thought I'd be all right. I, I started putting the tractor to kind of like safeguard from, you know, but didn't hit the tractor, hit the trailer and came straight on through.